Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Ramon, how are you today? Today's video is gonna be talking about the products that I was in love with, I was really feeling, the products that I just could not put down, and the products that I'd rather have put in the bin. The reason being is a certain James Welsh reached out to me and he was like, oh hey Ramon, how's it going? Um, hey, do you wanna be my video this Friday to hit some shits? And I was like, um, yeah. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is talking about most of the products that I wanted to feature in today's video, some of my hits and some of my shits as he calls them. But if you wanna find out what my ultimate hits and shits are for the month of August, head over to his channel, link below. And give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more content on my channel. So let's talk about the products I was really feeling this month, products that I could not stop using, products that really stood out to me. First and foremost, Miss Fenticia over here, the Fenty Skin Fat Water. So, I mean, this was like, I think one of the more semi-controversial parts of the launch is because of the witch hazel and stuff in it. But this product is so much fun to use. This product, as I mentioned on my Fenty Skin video talking about the line, was very much an essence step in my routine. This features really, really nice humectant ingredients. It features a nice cinnamide. It features other ingredients that are really going to help brighten the skin, refine the texture, as Rihanna kept saying in her videos. And for me, I just felt like after cleansing, going in with this, this really started the process of really starting to quench my skin, starting the treatment steps on my skin. In the morning, I could go in with a layer or two of this, just squeezing some of my hand, patting it in, follow up with a hydrovisor or whatever other SPF be good for the day. At night, I would layer this under other humectants, other serums, other treatments, moisturizers, and this, again, fit into my night routine beautifully. It gave me a nice effect on my skin. Not only did it hydrate, I really felt like it did do a lot for my pore texture, really helped with refining my skin texture, really working with other products in my routine to overall help brighten my skin tone. Also, this smells amazing. This was a lot of fun to use. I've used a lot of it. My boyfriend and I both love this product. We use it incessantly, and this is for sure gonna be a repurchase when I'm done with this. Next on the list is this. This is the Secret Key Sin Ake Anti-Wrinkle and Brightening Toner. This was actually sent to me in a box by Stylevana for my last month's Stylevana campaign video. I like Secret Key. I use her starting treatment essence or edition religiously, habitually three times a day if I have to. And this I was really interested to try because it was Secret Key. I already liked some of their products. I was really hyped to see what this could do for my skin and it did a lot. This, the texture of it, is a little bit more viscous. These two, texture-wise, actually are very, very similar. But what I loved about this is it's really hydrated my skin. It's rich in humectant ingredients, but also peptides. Peptides in this are gonna help to like really smooth out wrinkles. If you got wrinkles, apparently, I don't got wrinkles. But for me, it just gave my skin a nice, plump, radiant look. It really quenched, again, dehydration. I have dehydrated, oily skin. And it also features Arbutin. Arbutin is one of my all-time favorite skincare ingredients. Check out my taking care of discoloration, hyperpigmentation in tan dark deep skin video. But Arbutin is just such a great ingredient for brightening discoloration and acne scarring, which I'm dealing with right now. So again, if I needed to really pare back things and have items that would give me double, triple punches, this. Third hit, the Bosha Cactus Water Moisturizer. I've actually used this now for about, I'd say like four or five years on and off. I worked at Sephora, so I'd get this a lot in my gratis. But this is very much a very moisturizing, lightweight, oily skin friendly gel texture moisturizer. If you didn't see my Bosha Live, I basically raved about this. This really reminds me of, if you've ever eaten cactus or nopales, or if you've like, I don't know, dealt with a cactus, the inside juices of a cactus are they're viscous they have like a semi slimy texture and this kind of has that but it's not like a negative feeling for basically it has a little bit of body to it it has a little bit of texture to it some viscosity it goes on the skin nicely lightweight it sinks into your skin really really quickly but it just leaves your skin really really nourished really really hydrated without feeling heavy again it's gel texture moisturizer this is perfect for oily skin, but more so you really feel like it's staying on your skin, really giving you that nice, long lasting moisturizing feeling all throughout the day without sitting heavy on the skin, especially at night when I use this the next morning when it runs off my face, I still feel like my skin is quenched, my skin is nourished, my skin is hydrated. If you refrigerate this and apply this to your skin after a really long day of like excessive UV exposure to your skin, it is so soothing. Aloe is one of the other ingredients in this. But not only that, think about in the desert, how a cactus can thrive, even though the conditions that it's in are very, very extreme, very, very dry. Cactus moisturizer serves the same purposes on your skin. So this was a really nice package to get just because I could revisit a favorite that I've used for a long time and I know I really love. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about on today's video is this. This is actually a little bit of a sneak peek of a video I'm uploading on Sunday, but this is the Sunbum Mineral Tainted 
This is the Sunbum Mineral Tinted Sunscreen Face Lotion, SPF 30. This is a mineral sunscreen. Um, a friend of mine on Instagram is working on a sunscreen formulation and she was like, can I send you something? Because this is what I'm gonna base my formulation around. I wanna get your perspective on this. And this was like low key a home run. I'm not gonna deny that this has a slight cast, but this is potentially the most minimal cast I've ever had on a mineral sunscreen. The texture of this is semi silicone semi moussey It's actually intended to be a makeup primer on the skin. So if I actually put enough of this on to get the UV protection, I get the UV protection. It sits really nice and lightweight on the skin. The cast on this is really, really minimal and it preps my skin beautifully for makeup. I get eight, nine, 10 hour wear tests out of this where my skin looks seamless at the end of the day still. So this was like low key a home run too. I've had a really good streak of really decent mineral sunscreens the last couple weeks. So tune in Sunday on the video where I talk about the sunscreen. So if you want to see my ultimate hit for the month, head over to James's channel because that's I'm saving the best for him. But let me talk about my shits for the month. First shit. So here's the tea. I don't actually hate this. My only reason this is on the like least favorites, the not hits, the shits for the month is that as with all the items that Fenty Skin launched with was intended to have a dual purpose. This as the cleanser was intended to take off your makeup and wash your face. As a second cleanser, as just a sole face wash, this actually is really nice. Not stripping, it's not drying, it's really gentle on the skin, but you get enough of a nice rich lather out of this that you really feel like, oh, even as me, an oily, acne prone individual who wears makeup and sunscreen, I feel like this is really cleansing my skin adequately and I feel like my pores are getting taken care of when I use this. But this doesn't take off makeup. And if I needed to take off makeup, I need to use a lot of it to do so. But I feel like if I use my average amount of cleanser with this and work that up to take off my makeup, I feel like it's hard to explain, but like basically everything on my face absorbs this and I can't lather it anymore, no matter how much you try to add water and emulsify the formulation even more. Like it just stops working at a certain point. And I don't feel like this is enough to take off my makeup. So I have to go in with a bomb or oil-based cleanser first. That's the only reason this is on my shits list, just because it doesn't do what it claims to do adequately. Unless I use too much, and then I feel like I'm just gonna work through this really quickly. Second shit is the Coco Kinds Glow Essence with Sea Grape Caviar. This was actually sent to me as a constellation present because my Coco Kinds sunscreen, go watch the review. Something happened where I got a wrong item from the warehouse. So they were like, sorry, here's the sunscreen and this. And this is essentially supposed to be like a botanical essence that's supposed to like nourish and hydrate your skin. This is literally just like water, like sugar water. It smells so heavily, but not even just like of natural things. It smells heavily perfumed. I don't like this on my face just because it doesn't, it feels like I'm spraying water on my face. I have essences that are very, very lightweight water textures, but I feel like they give me hydration. This doesn't give me hydration. It smells so strong. So I've actually just ended up using this as like a deodorizer for like my couch and stuff. I keep this in the studio though, just because sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to reactivate the hydrators on my skin before I go in with like a sunscreen or something. But for actual skincare, I'm not actually willing to use this. Thank you, Coco Kind. Third shit on my list is this. This is the Logically Skin Brightening Peptide Ampule. This was also in the style Vana box that this came in. The whole point of that box, it seems like, was a lot of like brightening products, things that had peptides and arbutin and whatnot to help like brighten the complexion. This was nice. I think the price point on this is actually really, really low. My tea with this is just like, this just doesn't do a lot for me. This has niacinamide as the primary brightening ingredient, plus some peptides. But the tea with this is just like, the niacinamide in this isn't gonna do enough to brighten my skin. I have other products in my routine that give me a lot more of a kick with brightening. So like things that have arbutin in them or things with niacinamide that feature a lot of other ingredients, like antioxidants that can do more for my skin and work in conjunction with other products, I can get a much more noticeable result more soon. This, it just seems like, oh, it features niacinamide, but it features all these peptides that are gonna protect your skin and prevent it from getting hyperpigmentation in the future, which I understand, but I have other products that do that better. Also the packaging for this, just sometimes the dropper doesn't work and I couldn't figure out like, how to make it work. So the experience with this overall wasn't negative. It's just, this isn't gonna do it for me. So mm. like I said, for the hits, if you wanna see my ultimate shit for the month of August, head over to James's channel. I'll put the link down below, but you'll probably also get notifications for it because you should be subscribed to his channel. Thank you guys for watching. Down below, tell me what some of your favorites or some of your least favorite products from the month of August were. You've seen mine, tell me yours. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. And give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I post more content on my channel. And again, go watch James's channel. This is a big deal for me. Please support. Thanks guys. Bye.